Hello everyone, welcome to the Geo Ecologist. I am Dr. Krishnanand and you have been watching my videos related to various topics of geography, environment, research methodology and several others on my channel The Geo Ecologist. In this session on economic geography, we are going to talk about a very interesting topic that is energy crisis. Now in today's world, energy is required in all the sectors of our lives. Now the term crisis alongside with energy is where we are focusing in this lecture that what is this condition of crisis that has come up in the news recently as well in terms of coal crunch, coal crisis, crisis in the power sector generation and also other sectors of energy as well. Alongside with it, there is a need to revamp, redevelop and also appraise ourselves on the various other sectors of energy in order to understand that where the future is going. So all these things are going to be discussed in today's session but before we go ahead don't forget to subscribe to our channel and do share the videos with others as well. So now let's understand this concept of energy crisis. So what does this crisis mean? The crisis basically is not about the scarcity of energy simply but rather it is a drastic difference or a gap between the supply and the demand of energy in our system. So energy crisis does not mean the scarcity of energy. Rather, what is the meaning of energy crisis? It is the problems of production and distribution for a given particular reason. So in simple way, mathematically, how we can analyze energy crisis? It's when demand of energy is many fold increased rather than supply not not meeting that demand. So that is where the crisis situation emerges. Now energy crisis is any significant bottleneck in the supply of energy resources to an economy in simple ways. So if because of any reason if the energy is not given to where it is required then at the consumption end it creates a situation of crisis that is important to understand. So in India in present condition if we know that it is contending with two key challenges in energy sector if you look for example in Indian context. So soaring electricity demand as industrial activity rebounds after pandemic curbs were lifted up. So in pandemic all the major energy consumption activities in terms of industrial sectors were shut down. But when economy again opens up, so energy demand starts to increase multifolds. So that is one point. And the other is the slump in local coal output because most of the output is based on coal power generations thermal power generations. So what has happened because of lack of coal supplies, what has happened? The production has delayed or decreased while the demand has increased. That is the creation of a crisis situation. So the country meets around three quarters of its demand locally. But what happened this year? Heavy rains and they have flooded the mines and also there were problems in the transportation routes. So what happened? Again, the demand was multifold increased after the opening up of economy after pandemic while there was a problem of supply of energy right? That's what the crisis situation is. So states are facing blackouts if you have seen the news in many parts of India and also in different parts of the world as well. So this situation is one of the examples of energy crisis and believe me energy crisis is not new to this world. It has been happening since 50 years, 60 years now and there is a history of energy crisis that we need to look into. So this is the recent news if you observe this is October 26, 2021 and the news is La Nina threatens to worsen energy crisis with colder winter. Now you need to pay attention to this particular line. That La Nina effect which is going to get extreme winters, wet winters, snowy winters in most of the Southeast Asia including India. So what's going to increase? The demand for energy, right? But what is going to decrease at the same time is the supply because we already have shortages. So what is it going to be? Again, it's going to be a worse energy crisis that is being predicted by various scholars and scientists. This was in the news as well. Now, let's look into the history a little bit that when this energy crisis was first recorded or did it start? So if you observe carefully, 
Energy crisis has been in vogue since 1970s to this particular extent. Why? Because of after the world war effect that restructuring started around the world, economic activities gained importance, industrial activities gained importance. So lots of consumption was there in every sector of economy which demanded energy. So by 1970s we reached the stage where the crisis was impending. So cause of the peaking of oil production in major industrial nations and example is Germany, US, Canada and embargoes from other producers. This is where energy crisis started in 1970s. So if you remember 1973 oil crisis very famous caused by the OPEC that is Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries of the World where export of embargo by many major Arab oil producing states in response to the western support of Israel during Yom Kippur Kippur war. This was the time when crisis was there in the world. So 1970s is when you see the major crisis historically if you look into the last 50 years. Then look into 79 oil crisis caused by Iranian revolution again. Then 1990s oil price shock was because of the Gulf Wars. Right. Then 2000 fuel protests in the United Kingdom. So this was again that relatively high taxation on road fuel in UK there also crisis was observed then in 2000s if you observe energy crisis was very common in 2003 a rise in prices caused by continued global increase in petroleum demands in early 2000s coupled with production stagnation led to the crisis especially in US if you observe right so 2000 to 2001 if you observe California electricity crisis was very commonly recorded 2000 to 2008 North American natural gas crisis was recorded then further if you observe 2004 Argentina energy crisis 2005 to 8 China energy crisis 2007 political riots and Burmese anti-government protests so here again energy crisis was recorded so further if you observe 2008 South African electrical crisis 2012 UK fuel crisis 2015 Nepal experienced a major energy crisis when India imposed an economic blockade on Nepal because Nepal faced shortages of various kinds of petroleum products. So there again demand was too much but supply was not met because of the sanctions put by India. Then 2017 Gaza electricity crisis again the Israel Palestine conflict and the Gaza if you know the history you know the crisis was there. Then 2019 again California energy crisis and Texas power crisis 2021 this particular year United Kingdom natural gas supplier crisis and right now we are facing the global energy crisis. Right, the global coal crunch, the Indian coal crunch, overall we are in the energy crisis state because demand has increased multifolds but there is always a problem in the supply chain, supply units because of several reasons. That's important to understand here. Now, if you observe the world energy crisis in today's time, it is rooted in the price of gas and struggles to recover from COVID-19. So in the pandemic, most of the sectors were shut down but suddenly now because of the ease at work after pandemic when the economy is opening up right when vaccinations have done so now the energy is required more in every sector so what happens precisely the demand increases multiple times but suppliers are not able to meet the demand so there is again a crisis times so energy crisis sparks divide in Europe over nuclear power again China coal futures hit high after floods worsen energy crisis these were the news headlines I'm talking here tensions mount inside government over bailout for UK energy companies China to boost coal production OG UK wants North Sea suppliers need to be maintained. These were the news articles published in various newspapers across the world. So you see the world energy crisis is going on right now and now comes to the reasons for it. So various causes of the global energy crisis almost eight points are there if you can see here over consumption over demand then over population obviously poor infrastructure management aging equipment inefficient transmission of energy energy loss waste of energy that we say unexplored renewable energy options still we are unable to tap the great potential in our renewable sources of energy like solar, wind and hydel, so many others. Then delay in commissioning of various power plants in various areas of the world, wastage of energy a huge problem again across the world. Then poor distribution system because if distribution is poorly done it means the demand is not met even if the thing is there in the stock. So that is one problem and then major accidents and natural calamities. So these are the major eight reasons we can say or various causes related to the global energy crisis that we can observe here. And 
Another one is wars and attacks right from the Middle Eastern areas where Saudi Arabia, Iraq, Iran, Kuwait, UAE, Qatar, these areas have had many wars because of the energy things between them, right? So that's what also happened in 1990s. And apart from these wars, or you can say conflicts between the states, especially these OPEC member countries here in the Middle East, in North Africa, right? where you can observe that many times this energy crisis has cropped up in the world, price fluctuations, demand and supply disorders. That's what we're looking here. So apart from these miscellaneous factors, for example, tax hikes, strikes, military coup, then you have political events, severe hot summers or cold winters where the demand for energy is aggressively high, right? That's what we're looking here at La Nina phase in these winters. So a strike by trade unions also sometimes leads to this energy crisis in many states, right? So these are certain reasons that we explored. Now, looking into this current state in Indian context, apart from the world, is this coal crunch in India, very commonly in news. Now, what is this coal crunch? What has happened? Understand, the coal stocks have come down to an average of four days of fuel. This was in news. If you have heard the news that only four days of coal are left, this was just in recent news. So what is the truth about the coal crunch in India? What were the reasons behind it? So let's look into this. First of all, eruption in power demand after COVID-19 pandemic and, and more than 100 crores of vaccination already done. So economy is opening up. The demand is doubling, tripling, right? So that is what has happened, especially at urban centers or industrial centers. Then India is suffering from impacts of sharp surge in electricity demand and a squeeze on domestic mine output. Now, now domestic mines that we have for coal output decreased dec due to several reasons. So what happened? Flooding and rainfall happened this year a lot. So mines were flooded. In time supply could not be managed. Stocks could not be managed, right? And then increased share of thermal power plants has already there. So coal fired thermal power plants are already almost more than 60% or close to 65% in India if you observe here, right? So what happens? We are still too dependent upon the coal producing electricity electricity or coal based electricity that we say thermal power plants right so if coal supply fell down it means there is going to be a coal crunch and crisis in energy sector in India and also we have started to lower down on imports so because we don't import from other countries we have a problem of meeting our demands here in India so consequences are the three important points if you observe what is it it could delay in India's economic reopening, right? Because without energy, we cannot do any economic activity here, right? And then common power cuts, blackouts may become very common as well now further. And the third and most important point is that providing India's population and underdeveloped energy infrastructure, power crisis could hit long way and cause obstruction in nation's progress in long term. It's not just short term that we are looking here. In long term, it's going to affect and that's important to consider. This is a tweet by Hindustan Times I'm quoting here. Some states may soon face blackouts, coal demand surge. This was again quoted by one of the newspapers. Now you observe this is a real time situation of coal crunch and energy crisis in Indian situation. So how can we resolve? What are the remedies if you observe? So there are certain methods or certain steps that could be taken or you can use them to write answers when you're talking about the steps or remedial measures. So step up the mining activity. So we need to strengthen our mining sector. We need to look into the stocks and also look into the proper monitoring and evaluation and also appraisal of our stocks time to time. Then monitoring supply controls, increasing imports if it is required because you know the pricing is fluctuating and the price has gone of the coal and oil in many many areas in the world, right? So the price fluctuation also is one thing where you need to look into while we are planning our imports. Then stimulation in hydropower generation which is having a great potential in India, right? Because we we are land of river, we have a lot of water resources. So this is one area where you could step up, right? We can reduce down on dependency on the thermal power plants and step up on hydropower plants. But this requires lots of money, lots of financial infrastructure, right? So large hydroelectric projects on dams in India are major electricity sources as we know, and it needs to be strengthened. 
and alternatively also turn to natural gas powered stations and already we know that we have national solar mission going on and also energy from wind and nuclear power is already in vogue but not very common in our households so that's where we are looking for the solutions in context to india so now when we have learned in details about the various aspects of energy crisis in the sessions to come we'll be talking more on other aspects of economic geography so stay tuned stay safe keep learning and do share the videos with others as well